on the Iodon. And now I'll be burned. Oh, it's an equalizer. I'll be burned. We're done. No, we're done. Shut it down. Shut it down. The, shut it down. The minute that yo and this guy, listen. Woo! And wow! Oh! Oh! oh. Yo, that's crazy. Oh, all right. All right. Oh. The real question is this. Was all this legal? Absolutely fucking not. Kidding. Not my decision, but yeah, that's what they've decided. Are you struggling to win on FIFA because your team is really bad? This team fucking sucks! Do you need coins for a cheeky new team? I need it! You can head over to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, and if you use code McShell, you'll get a 5% discount. Okay, boys and girls, so today we're going to be jumping into a very cheeky little card, okay? This card looks outrageously good, okay? Future Stars has got some serious gems in there, and this is definitely one of them. And I do have to say, I I'm quite surprised by this one. I really wasn't expecting it. For some weird reason, I thought Harvey Barnes was, like, quite old. Not, like, old, but I thought he was, like, 25, 26. But, you know, apparently he's actually really young, which, I mean, good, good for Leicester, right? They've got an insane player uh, at a really young age. Yeah, this card just looks super, super good, and it's a reasonable price. A lot of these cards are really expensive like that Rainer card looks I mean it looks amazing but it's like 1.8 1. mil and then there's the uh, who's the other guy it's um the French center mid he's like 2.7 mil some of the price on these cards are crazy Harvey Barnes is around about 400 500 ish k uh, and, and looks just incredible the only thing he doesn't really have is skill moves which I'm guessing is the reason he's a little bit a little bit cheaper than the others but aside from that looks absolutely unreal and I'm genuinely excited to show you guys this card if you haven't seen it already but before we talk more about Harvey Barnes boys let's talk about one football so guys, if you don't know what OneFootball is by now, it's basically an app that covers everything football. It covers everything from the latest scores, injury updates, latest news, transfer news, all that good stuff around football is covered here. It's completely free, of course, so it doesn't cost you anything to download. Now is the best time to download OneFootball because of how crazy this season is. Like, I don't think we've ever seen a football season that's been this crazy. Like, it's just been absolutely unreal. Just crazy scores, like, just coming out of nowhere. Like, just one minute, you know, one team looks like they're going to fucking run away with it. And, uh, you know, it, it just, it's just all over over the place boys it's absolutely crazy so you've got to be keeping up with this stuff so you guys know how this works you know i like to laugh at some rivals fans at this time but uh i've been doing that a lot lately in liverpool well, Liverpool have not been good lately, and I'm recording this on a Sunday, right? Right before the Manchester City Liverpool game. So I'm just God, God, please. I I, I didn't laugh at Arsenal. I, I did I normally I would laugh at Arsenal. I'm not gonna laugh at them today. Please let Liverpool win. Please. <laughs> But anyway, let's link us in the description, okay? Give it a download and you get yourself a great app. So, guys, I've built a bit of a different team today, okay? This is not my normal team that I would normally use, just just using a couple of new faces. Obviously, we've got to buy Harvey Barnes in here, which I'll go into the games of in just a second. We've got this red Suchek card that I think looks really, really nice. Uh, and I, I got him in red pick, so I thought, you know, it's a pretty, pretty good card there. Not the best acceleration, but aside from that, I think it's a really, really, really cheeky little card there. We've got Inform Callum Wilson, who literally goes for about 25k and looks amazing for that price tag like he's got some really really nice stats there so I thought hell why not try Callum Wilson today and we got our boy flashback Higuain here who I honestly thought was going to be like the best striker ever when I first used him like, I was really really shocked as to how much I liked him on his review since then I've not really been that crazy on him like he just kind of let me down a few times and you know whenever I use him he's like a little bit inconsistent which is genuinely genuinely annoying but uh yeah we'll use him today maybe he doesn't let us down today maybe he does we'll see defensively pretty familiar stuff here we got like video and Boateng, who we normally use, Alfonso Davies for the chemistry, but yeah, boys, I think this team is pretty cheeky, if you ask me. The only thing that we are lacking is a uh, little voice crack there. We won't talk about that. I think we need a little Hunter chem style on our boy, on our boy Callum Wilson there. There we go, boys. There we go. But let's let's dive into the in games of this Harvey Barnes. Like I was saying, he's not a skiller, so that is probably the, like the main reason that he's not costing like 800, 900k. Four star weak foot, which is nice. High medium work rates. The pace here, really, really good. Okay, 91 pace is amazing. Shooting stats here are probably what I'm most excited for. 97 attack positioning is amazing. 90 finishing, of course, is amazing, and 92 long shots. 
Uh, dribbling stats here are amazing. 89 agility, 89 in-game dribbling, 85 composure, 88 ball control. So all the dribbling stats there are very, very solid. And even physically is not bad. 75 strength is pretty good. 90 stamina. And then that's what Tracy got out of the foot trade. Lads, this card... This card is amazing, okay? This card is, is it's, to me at least, it's flawless because I don't do skill me, so I don't really care. I, I think he looks amazing, especially with that Hunter card, you know, bumping up that pace and shooting even more. Uh, this card's going to be fucking devilish. So anyway, let's wasting any more time. Okay, we'll jump straight into a little bit of gameplay with Harvey Barnes. Hopefully he delivers. So let's jump into game number one. Coming up for you. Is nice back to him. Match. What a game chip it. To Look at that for a ball. What a pass. I should be 1 0 up already. Princess got absolutely all over the place here, boys. No organization. There is no fucking way. There is no way he gets a goal here. Oh my god, what a save. What the fuck was this? Like, we're four minutes in, lads. It, and we've already had. It should be 1 0. What, what's going on here? Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Oh, I've... No, wait, no, I changed the costume. Why is... Fuck, lads. Why is, my... Why is my team just completely disorganised? The team's all over the place. Are you seeing, like, the positions of some of these players? Lads, what is this game? Like, how... We are 14 minutes in. He's 2-0 up. My defence is all over the place! What's going on? Really good ball from Veron. Really good touch from Harvey Barnes. Lay it off. Please, Higuain. Oh, please. Still got it. Still got it. Still a chance. Nice. Harvey Barnes actually back. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how I've still got it. Oh, it's a good ball across the box, too. Nice little, little play there. Play Higuain. Higgy. All you, lad. All you. How? Have I not scored? This is ridiculous. This is honestly ridiculous. I genuinely believe that I could be drawing with this guy quite comfortably if I could just get a bit of luck. I'm not quitting this. Normally, I'd quit a 3-0, but fuck it. I, I, I genuinely think I can beat this guy if I just fucking learn to score. Or defend. One of the two. He can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. <sighs> I might make a sub, lads. I might make a sub. I need to get a goal back. If I can get one back, it, I think it changes the game. Let's get Butcher on. Let's get Robin on. Hey, Robin. Big boy, Robin. No! How oh, for fuck's sake, can I please just get one goal? Good ball. Play cross. Really good pass. Harvey Barnes. Good finish. Finally, it took us long enough. It took us long enough. I think it's too late. But at least I got a goal. Man, I had to really fucking dig for that. How many chances I had in this game? It's ridiculous. Oh, damn it, lads. I honestly, like, I, I, I genuinely think if I could just score in that game, I, I could have beaten him. Obviously, I didn't help myself defensively, but we all know that was going to happen. I just, it just took me so long to score. I don't know how he just kept saving it or blocking it. And... Oh, boo-hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. So overall, boys and girls, with Harvey Barnes, by far the best player on the pitch. One of the few players that actually did a good performance. Like, there wasn't many players. In fact, he might be the only player that I can think of that had a really good performance. He scored himself a really nice goal, of course. Positioning was really good. You know, got himself in the absolute right spot. And he absolutely laced it into the bottom left corner. So a really nice finish from him. I really like this card's passing. That was one thing I definitely noticed. His weight of passing was really, really nice. It's just general through passing just felt really good. Dribbling felt good on this card as well. I didn't get the ball to him too many times in this game. Or I would have liked to have got to got the ball to him more often but when I did get it to him felt good on the ball nothing amazing like didn't feel like the most meta like type of dribbling or anything like that but it felt solid enough you know so overall I like the card so far I just want to obviously want to get a bit more a bit more with him a bit more uh, a bit more time with him on the ball and just test him out a bit more because in this game uh, I was I'm more than anything I just wanted to fucking score in this game I was trying I was just trying to score I wasn't trying to get the ball to Barnes and test him or anything I just wanted to score uh, and for some reason I just could not do it 
Every single chance I would get would get would get blocked. I get tackled right at the last second. Just it was crazy how it took me to 86 minutes to score. So hopefully we maybe get a slightly easier game in the next one, so we can test out this Barnes a little bit better. So boys, which was a game number two. Top that for Ron. Great pass for Ron. It's absolutely delicious. Brilliant goal that. The pass was exquisite. Great finish from Higuain as well. Wonderful. Play straight through. Callum Wilson. Oh, Callum Wilson. Oh, that last touch there really fucked that. That really let him down. It was it was looking like the easiest goal ever. Oh, good inception. Don't know why Higuain didn't get that, but. Back two. Oh, Harvey Barnes! Oh, it's, oh, why is it like I play some good football there? You know, some nice passing, and then there's just one pass that makes no sense. Nice ball, Higuain. What a finish that was. The way he floated that over the, uh, the the keeper was so nice. That was such a good finish from Higuain. Come on. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Go quick here, Harvey Barnes. Back to him, stay on side. Don't know why I didn't pass to him. I think he would have been off anyway. Higuain. Done so well. Deserved a goal. All right, boys. That that was a weird game. That I won the game. I, I'll take the clean sheet dance, by the way. It's the best I've defended probably ever in my life. Um, I don't know. That was just such a kind of dead game. What did it cost? My enjoyment. I wanna call them a wrist, 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 wrist. So, boys and girls, this Harvey Barnes card was kind of a weird one for me. Like, it was, it was kind of a weird one for me. Like, I cannot really pinpoint anything about this card that I don't like, you know? I like the card's passing. I like the card's dribbling. I like the card's shooting. I like the card's pace. I like everything about the card. But something about him just wasn't... Uh, I don't know. It just didn't... He didn't... He wasn't as good as I thought he was going to be. I don't know what it was. He uh, like, More than anything, he just didn't have the impact that I thought he would have. Was this card bad by any means? No, not at all. There's, again, there's nothing about the card that I didn't like. He did everything right, but he just didn't impact the game as much. You know, the last game, he was the, by far the best player, but I still lost 3-1. Like, the guy beat me quite comfortably in the end. I just couldn't get the ball in the net. In this game... I won 2-0, but he had nothing to do with the goals that I scored, to be honest with you, you know? The, the Higuain, the first goal, was obviously a bit of brilliance from Varon and a really good finish, and I can't really remember too much about the second goal, to be honest, but uh, uh, he just I don't think he was really involved in the build-up to that. And I was a little bit surprised by that, you know, because you look at the stats, he's got like 97 positioning. I was expecting him to make a lot more runs. There's definitely something that I was a little bit disappointed with this card. He didn't make that many runs. Uh, when he did make the runs, like in the first game, where you, we scored that, that really nice goal, finally, uh, it was a really good run, but he didn't do that very. It was very sparing. He, this, this did not. This, this, it didn't happen often. So I have to say, boys and girls, I'm a little bit disappointed with Harvey Barnes. I was, expe I was expecting a bit more. I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting a little bit more. Anyway, that's gonna call it there. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.